hi guys, so today I'm going to be filming Jackson's one week update and one week postpartum. I was hoping to be holding him for this video, but he's so peaceful asleep behind me there in his little sleepy head, so I've just left him to it. He may wake up during this video, um, but we'll just see how it goes. Um, but yeah, I can't believe it's already been a whole week. Um, it was literally this time last week that I was in labor with him. He's fitted into the family wonderfully. The boys, his brothers are absolutely in love with him. They spend loads of time stroking his head, which is both cute and scary at the same time because we're like gentle gentle to be honest sometimes matt and i forget that we've even got him he's so content um as long as he's full up he is just quiet and then every now and then we'll, he'll make a sound and we're like oh yeah jackson <laughs> he's a really chilled third baby and we're totally in love this week's been really nice because matt has had loads of time off so he's been around and my mum's been around and matt's mum's been helping as well so i've had loads of help so i've been able to enjoy the baby so much and when the boys are at school and nursery matt and i have had like a few dates just with jackson and it's been really really special i feel like i've I know I've just had a baby, but I feel like we've had like a little bit of a holiday. And we've had quite a nice amount of visitors. I think because it's our third and people know that like, we've got other stuff going on, we haven't been inundated with people wanting to come around. We've literally just had family and like two close friends visit this whole week. So it's been really, really chilled and spaced out and just really nice. There's been no pressure to like make constant cups of tea or put makeup on or anything like that. It's been really relaxed. So I think I'll update on Jackson first and how he he's doing and then I'll talk about myself after that um, but he's doing really well we had a midwife come around today and we realized we actually got his birth weight wrong they do it in kilograms and he was 3.45 kilograms at birth and it's even on my birth vlog um, she says it and you can see it so when he was weighed at birth whoever converted the kilograms to pounds in the room in all the craziness converted 3.35 kilograms which is seven pounds six ounces so that's what we all thought it was because they just said oh he's seven pounds six and we were like cool today we've realized that 3.45 kilograms which is what he was at birth means that he was seven pounds nine ounces so we've already had cards and frames and we've emailed him saying that he was seven pound six and all of this stuff but he was actually a little bit heavier um so he was actually quite a good size which makes more sense because he was 11 days overdue um but yeah anyway he was he was seven pounds nine at birth and the midwife weighed him today he's exactly a week old today and he is now seven pounds 15. So I'm so proud because I am just breastfeeding on demand and I feel like all I do is feed and it's obviously working because he's put on at least an ounce a day so he's really thriving and so if you saw my birth vlog you will know that we decided to call him Jackson Leo. We just loved the name Jackson. I know I kept talking in my pregnancy updates about how I wanted a surname as a name. I don't know why I just really like those kind of names and Jackson was the only name that Matt also really liked so it was like the one for us so we chose Jackson and we decided to spell it like Michael Jackson rather than with an X and lots of you have already picked up on why we chose to make his middle name Leo that is because our eldest son Fraser our five-year-old when we told him that we were having a boy he instantly went I want to call him Leo and then he carried on saying the name Leo throughout my pregnancy he really wanted his first name to be Leo but we have kind of told Fraser that his name is Jackson Leo, so it's like his whole first name. It's kind of not, but we just wanted to keep him happy. And he's thrilled that we got the name Leo in there. And I think it's quite a nice story that his brother sort of gave him his middle name. The name really suits him and we've already got a few nicknames for him. We're already calling him Jax and Matt keeps calling him Jacko, which I don't love, but it's quite funny. Jackson also looks a lot like his brothers. He is a real cross between his two brothers, but I think he might be leaning towards looking a little bit more like Fraser at the moment. He's got the same beautiful big blue eyes and the same lips that his brothers do. It's just funny how Matt and I just seem to make like this one type of baby. It's like we make this kind of boy, and that's what they look like. He's obviously only a week old, so he has basically spent the whole week sleeping. He has just been feeding and sleeping and burping, and um, he's actually really easy to wind. He's really good at burping, which I think has really helped with the night times. <laughs> 
um, because he could feed quite quickly and then he can get the burps up as well. Um, so, so far he is going about two or three hours between feeds. Um, the first couple of nights, you know, when they're full of mucus, he was going four hours and I was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. And then it starts to hit, they start to get the hunger and stuff. So his umbilical cord has already fallen off. It fell off on day four and I was actually a little bit sad that it happened so quickly. I was like, he's growing up so fast. Um, but I didn't keep it. I, I looked at it, I was like, oh, I was like, this is so nice because it's like the thing that tied us together. But then I was like, it's also a dry piece of skin, so it's kind of gross. So I just put it in the bin. <laughs> Yeah, we also gave him his first bath yesterday on day six as a family. We were all together and we did him a bath in our utility sink and he really enjoyed it. We made sure it was really nice and warm. It was 36 degrees and it was quite full up as well. So he was completely covered and he was kind of kicking his legs and the boys were washing him. So that was really nice because I had wanted to wash him all week because he obviously was born in like the meconium poo. But I don't recommend you wash him until the cord's fallen off or he's a week old. So we waited, but it was really nice to give him a good old wash and then I've been putting just olive oil on him because they recommended olive oil or sunflower oil for his skin and because he was 11 days late, his skin is like a little bit overcooked so he is shedding a little bit of his skin. So I oiled him up but it feels really weird because when he's all naked and oiled up, he looks like a little chicken that you should then put into the oven. As for me, one week postpartum, I am feeling really well and good in myself. If you saw our birth vlog, you will know that I got my home birth and that all sort of went to plan. We did have to go to hospital after the home birth, but that was actually fine. Um, it was a super quick labor. It was like three hours in total, but the, I went from five centimeters to him being born within just 40 minutes. So it was really intense. There was a fear that I was going to tear, but I am happy to say that I am completely intact. In this labor, for the first time ever, I delivered the placenta naturally. I did that because you know I had planned to have my like placenta smoothie afterwards, so they recommend that you do it naturally without the injection. Um, so I was so surprised. It only took 10 minutes and one contraction and it just all came out on its own. So that was cool. But I didn't do the whole placenta smoothie thing because he had done a meconium poo inside of my womb. I just didn't know if that was a good idea and I went off to hospital and I didn't even look into it. I just thought if he's had a poo inside, I don't think I should then like whiz it up into a smoothie. So breastfeeding is going really well as well. I'm just completely breastfeeding on demand at the moment. My milk came in on day three and they were huge and so engorged on the first day. There was just so much milk for such a small little baby. Um, so I found day three and day four quite hard because they were just so big and it was like trying to get like a football into like a little fish's mouth or something. I was trying to like reshape them and like TMI, sorry. Um, but it was really, really hard and I was in a lot of pain on those two days, but now it's all calmed down. I'm just feeding every two hours and um, obviously he's thriving. On obviously it's only been one week, but I am feeling quite huge already and my chest is huge and I still feel like my stomach has gone down a bit. I haven't stepped on the scales and I don't think I will for a good four to six weeks. Um, I've probably already lost a stone in baby and liquid and all that sort of stuff. Um, but I'm kind of scared to step on the scales and Fraser, my eldest the other day, he asked me if I now just have a smaller baby in my tummy because there's still like a bit of a pouch and I was like, not. Just generally, he has fitted into the family so well. We've been so impressed and proud of our older boys, Caleb in particular, he's only two, and he has shown so much love towards him. He's forever stroking him and going, oh baby, like he's always talking to him and if he cries, he's trying to like tend to him. And he's just been so sweet and it's really surprised us because Caleb's personality is a little bit crazy. So he's really shown like this loving side towards his baby brother and he keeps walking around and saying, I'm a big brother like Fraser now. 
and he's just so proud. I know it's all probably going to change and be complete chaos soon, but at the moment it feels like this third baby has brought like this calm on our house and everyone is just like calm and happy and I don't know, it's just all going really well. I also just wanted to touch upon my whole Facebook Live birth thing that I did on the Channel Mum Facebook page. I cannot believe we've now had like press coverage in the Express, the Metro, the Mirror, EliteDaily.com and a few other things are in the pipeline as well. Um, so it's just crazy. I did the Facebook Live because Channel Mum said would I be up for it and I was like, yeah, I think I would because I've had such good births before. So I did it, but I had no idea that I was the first woman in the UK to Facebook Live their birth. <laughs> channel Mum have done a video of my Facebook Live updates on their channel. I'll link the video down below and I'll link my birth vlog down below as well if you wanted to see it. All the press coverage has actually been really positive about how I just wanted to show a positive birth experience and lots of them have said how I looked fabulous, um, which cracks me up because it's just so fortunate that I happened to have makeup on the day that I went into labor. Um, because it was the middle of the day and I'd already been out that morning and I was potentially going out that, that afternoon. So I had makeup on, but it's like people think I got glammed up to then give birth which is not the case. I think that's all that I wanted to update on. Let me know if you have any requests for videos to do with newborns, or I know lots of you would like me to do a hypnobirthing video and also one on home births. So I will definitely do that coming up. And um, yes, again, I just want to say thank you so much for watching and for subscribing and for all the love for Jackson. I really appreciate it. And I will see you all soon.